You know, Nick? This is Kai. You know, I totally have the same... This is the gayest sweater. I apologize. The... <laughs> I have the same fucking issue. Top surgery, hormones, definitely something that I want. But when I consider... When I consider prosthetics, you know, the phalloplasty, and the ones I've seen, um... They're functional, but not entirely functional. I don't want to spend my life pumping my dick, you know? Pumping my balls. I was telling my therapist about the fact that while I'm looking... I mean, I'm a switch. I'm gay. I really get turned on. It's, my vagina is very responsive also, so I know how it works. It works well. I don't know what I want to do about that, but... I understand your conflict, um, and the thing that most trans dudes say is, you know, I'm t when the technology is better <laughs> and I've got the money, maybe I'll consider it. But you have to also understand that if no one gets one, the technology will never improve. So you're kind of stuck in the, well, do I want to make future generations have better results? Or I want to be one of the future generations, but then I have to wait because no one's getting them because they're not attractive. Um, there's this channel, there's like one of those porn sites that has a an FDM dude with a girlfriend who has a prosthetic, and you know he uses it to pee, and uh, they have sex, and she blows him off and stuff. But at the same time, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's functional. It looks awkward. I don't know. I don't know if having that... And the gay men that I know say, I'd rather you have the V than that. So it's kind of... It's a toss-up there where they're like, well, I, you being super masculine and having the V is also kind of hot. You just have to find the people who are... who get turned on by that. No, seriously. Check out the sites that I listed. Um, because they may give you more hope because they're aimed for people like us and the gay guys who love us. Okay, catch you later.